Hi there everyone, it's me, your favorite Romanian regent, and today I'm just gonna going to quickly make a video showing you how you can get, in this case, the Brave New World mod, but this really works for any mod whatsoever. So first, we're going to op you're gonna need to open the game and drop a save. It doesn't matter the name of the save, just whatever name. We are going to open Google and go to the site Kai Mod Hoi. We are going to go here, we are going to duplicate the page, here we are going to search the new or the last days of Europe and Brave New World. We are going to go into the first one over here and this one. For the new order one, you are going to drag this 22nd of January 2022 and for the Brave New World this 25th of January over here 2022. You are going to, down to download both of them. Now that we have both of them downloaded, we are going to first extract two, and now we don't need this anymore, so we are just going to delete it. We are going to do the same thing with the new order mod. Now we can also delete uh, this WinRAR folder. First, we are going to open the second West Russian War mod, and we are going to copy it. Then, we are going to press this PC twice to make sure we've got it selected. And we will type in Paradox. As you can see, three appear over here. Let's select this one. Hearts of Iron, we will go into Hearts of Iron 4. And we will go into Save Game. As you can see, this folder doesn't have any Save Game, even though we saved the game. So this is not the right one. We will go back. We will try again. Paradox. We will try this middle one. This one, as you can see, has all these saves. This means this is the right one. First, this is what we are going to We are going to create a new folder called mod we're going to go into it and we are going to paste the mod in here then we're going to create another mod called workshop if you have if you already have these files over here when you go and check it just do it there then we are going to go into workshop folder create a new folder create a new folder called content and then we are going to make a new folder with this we are going to create a folder with the name 281990 i don't know why but it just works we are also going to go into here and again paste the mod and again we're going to paste the mod now we are going to again go back this time into new or the last days of europe folder and, se and select and copy these two files again we'll go over here paradox paradox interactive hot Barn 4 again the save games are, he are here this is the correct one and we are going to go into the mod folder now that this now that this mod is pasted we are going back into workshop and again and again we are pasting the mod over here now that we have expanded this, we are going to go and open the Hoi4 launcher. Launcher. Now here in the Hoi4 in the Hoi4 launcher, we are going to go over here, and as you can see, this is on the wrong version. It's on the 1.11.4 version. While this um, Hearts of Iron 4 version is in 1.110 so what I'm actually going to do is if I wanted to I could go back to to sky mods and just go back a few version or dates and find the 1.110 version instead what something I can also do is go into browse more mods over here and over here what I can do is search I can search Brave New World and as you can see this version over here appears as you can see it's on the correct version 1.110 this is the one we want as you can see the mod is do downloading right now so we are going to wait for that now we are going to go into playsets we are going to add mods and we are going to select this one and this one because as you can see no yellow mark no nothing they are up to date but if you don't but if you pirated the game you can literally just go on google and search hoi4 1.11.0 and you'll find it 
The mods you have put into the Paradox folders don't change, they remain there. Your save games remain there. So if you just uninstall and then reinstall that version of, of the game, that will work. Anyway, with that out of the way, we are going to add two playsets. Now, what we want to do is, I will press resume, and as you can see, this happens. I will also make, I will also press play. Now, these two mods have been activated. Now, close this window. Now, all you need to do is open Hearts of Iron 4, and if your game version, the mod, and the sub mod are all on the same version, then this should work. Let's see. And as you can see, TNO is loading. And this will take a bit. And as you can see, the game has downloaded TNO with the Brave New World sub mod. And now I have lo loaded into one of my old save games as the Russian Federation. Don't worry, this is just me triggering a nuclear war with Germany a bit earlier and the map glitching out. But if I... But the map should be good when you play it. Anyway, anyway, that was the sub mod. If you enjoyed it, uh, you know, leave a like button and subscribe. I just... Uh, it took me a while to understand how to actually download these mods and I don't see any... I didn't see anyone else really making a guide on how to get these mods if you don't have this game on steam so i'll see you hey there if you like this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe i put quite a lot of work into these videos and i hope you enjoy them see you